Hey guys, HMK once again, and I'm really, really, really excited for Zelda Wii U. And the Nintendo Direct just finished, and we did get a glimpse at something from Zelda Wii U on the heels of the Twilight Prince HD uh, reveal trailer, which I will be dissecting as well. But this is the analysis for Zelda Wii U because I want to get it out of the way because it's a small, uh, short teaser, and I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to show my face and then go back and forth from it, uh, depending on how I edit because I don't really want Nintendo to come on my ass for this kind of shit. But I mean, the hype is real for Zelda Wii U. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, play the trailer for you guys because this is grand. Now, I'm going to play it. We do have the segue from um, Twilight Prince HD going into Zelda Wii U. And yes, it's Zelda Wii U. Reggie said it himself that this is the Legend of Zelda game for Wii U. So, NX people, yeah, you can go ahead and just, like, no, no, no. And that's all we have to it. It just goes off, um, has Link go to, like, um, a weird, not weird, but nice, uh, big, grassy plane. Like, you can see the, how big it is behind him. And then going forward, you see a lot of things like, uh, the mountain region and a little, like, you know, concave, a lot of monasteries that I'm pretty sure we've seen before. And then we see some goats in the background right there and, um, a big volcano, which is probably more likely Death Mountain in the background. And, but, uh, the big things I want to talk about this game is because, like, you know, we, we don't see a lot of the landscape because he seems to go to a very fixed point from something we've seen before. I know, um, but the game looks a lot better from what we've seen from um, E3 2014 and the Game Awards uh, last year, which I HOPE to see more of Zelda Wii U at the Game Awards this year, but we're gonna have to wait time will tell. Uh, but something very peculiar comes to me to this. Uh, not only the horse, but let's take a look at Link himself. All right, his design hasn't changed. Uh, nothing has changed when it comes to the graphical style or the design, but we do see Link, ha uh, he has his black coat on, and he has a sword on his back, but it's not the same sword from what we've seen because it usually is either on his back or on the horse. Now the sword that we see here doesn't seem to be in a scabbard whatsoever, or it's a black scabbard or it's a black sword. But the sword looks huge! As you can see here, the sword on his back is enormous. It's like, kind of like the big Goron sword, and I don't think I can see it angled from here where we see the hilt. I'm trying to slow it down. Uh, I think we do see a hilt right here. We see a little guard, um, a hand guard on it, but it's a big sword. It's like a big Goron sword. It, it, it kind of looks like the big Goron sword from Ocarina of Time. It's big, it's massive, or <coughs> it could be a regular sword. I don't know if he's going to hold this with one hand or two, because the Master Sword is Skyward Sword, and in Twilight Princess was pretty big as well, and he used it with one hand. Now, one thing, one thing that has me really, really hyped is the thing that Link has on his hip. Now, if we go here and then if we decide to zoom, if I can zoom a little bit right here at this time, you can see what looks like a little book on Link's hip that has the Sheikah eye on it. It has a blue eye, the eye itself is blue, but then it has the Sheikah symbol with the, um, the eye lens and the crying tear and the little like, spikes at the top. That looks like the Sheikah symbol on a book that Link seems to be carrying. Now, from what we've seen before, we've seen like Sheikah things here and there, but that looks like a Sheikah cloak. I've always said that the cloak that Link was wearing in this looks like the Sheikah cloak that Impa was wearing in Skyward Sword. And now we have Link having a Sheikah book. This is very interesting. This is like it, it shows that this game might have a lot of connections to the Sheikah. And I'm really excited for this game. Both, you know, that's all we know, that's all we can see from this, you know, from this, this little tease. But I really hope we get to see more of this at the Game Awards uh, this year, you know, Nintendo decides to go full circle because this is like the first time we've seen Zelda Wii U at all this year. And I'm glad that they showed us something small, but I wish it wasn't small. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just really excited for what we see with this game. Um, a bunch of theories are coming out, but I'm just analyzing this for what we've seen. It's like it's a little Sheikah book, so I'm really excited to see that. So. I hope you're excited for Zelda Wii U. I hope they show more more of this very soon. But we do have the confirmation that's coming out in 2016. So if you liked the video, please like, share, they're all that good jazz. And until the next video, I've been HMK. I'll check you guys later.